Hi, this is Mark from Wiki Design. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a free way to automatically send email alerts to your users when you publish a new blog post. So here's an example of what we're going to be pulling off in this tutorial. I wanted to have it where underneath my blog post, I have this email opt-in right here. I wanted to have it where the user can enter in their email address, and then they're going to automatically get an email alert whenever we publish a new blog post. So in order to pull this off, what we need to do is install this free plugin right here called Simple Newsletter Plugin, or they call it Noptin. So what I recommend is you download, install, and activate this. And then I'm going to show you step by step on how we can add this a few different ways. So in this case, this is using uh, the Elementor Pro Contact Form widget. I'm also going to show you a free way. So if you don't use Elementor, you could still follow this tutorial. So let's just jump into the back end. After you have the plugin installed, you're going to notice this new section right here called Noptin Newsletter. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you're going to configure your subscription forms, how your email subscribers work, and then this is the email campaigns. This is how it's going to automatically get sent. So the very first thing we need to do is set up this email form right here. So I'll show you two different ways. The very first way is just using their built-in form builder, and then I'll show you how I was able to easily integrate this into an Elementor Pro form. So the very first thing is you click on subscription forms, click on add new, and then it's going to give you this design layout right here. And the very first thing is make sure you give it a unique form name. So in this case, I'm just calling it email opt-in. Um, if you know you're going to have this only in your footer or something like that, you could just call it like footer opt-in, you know, whatever it makes sense. And I won't go through every step over here because there's a lot. Um, the main thing you need to be concerned with is a few of these basic options. You're just going to want to make sure it's uh, at short code. And then this is the success message. So after someone, you know, signs up for it, this is the message right here. Thank you for subscribing to our newsletter. And you don't have to worry about any of this stuff right down here. And the main thing is underneath design, you can see where there's template. You could choose all of these different templates right here. So you can go borderless, classic. There's a ton of them, which is pretty nice for a free email opt-in. So let's go ahead and say we like this one right here called borderless. That one looks pretty good to me. And then they give you the option to change the different colors if you want, you know, different color backgrounds or anything like that. Let's just go ahead and keep it at like, uh, do they have a white? Let's do white. Keep it very simple. And you can change out any of this text right here. You can always just manually type it in right here. Or you can see right here where they have the different, uh, let me see, where is it? Heading. So you can see right here, you can change the heading. This is the subheading, which is this text right here. But let's just go ahead and say you're happy with this. So after you design it, you can just hit save. And then this right here is going to be your short code. So you could just copy this to your clipboard. Um, you can grab it right there, or you can click on subscription forms, and then it's also right here. So any future references, you can just go here and click copy. Now we need to just jump into our page. So in this case, this is a blog post, and I'm using what they call a single blog post template. So you don't have to always attach this to a template. You can always add it to your footer or call to action somewhere on the bottom of your page. It doesn't matter where you put it. But in this case, I have it right here, so it's going to automatically you know, be added to all of my blog posts. So I'm using Elementor in this case, but like I said, you could be using Gutenberg, Generate Press, Bricks, whatever it may be, and you could just paste in a short code. So you could just paste in a short code right here and you can see it's automatically added to the page. So now let's go ahead and do a test. I'm going to add that to the page, hit refresh, and now you can see right here, this is our new email opt-in. So let me just put in info at wikidesign.com and subscribe now. So there is that message that I told you you can change out. Thank you for subscribing to our newsletter. So now if you go underneath your email subscribers, you're going to see we have the new one right here. You can see right here, info at wikidesign.com. I didn't have anything for first name or last name. The most important thing is uh, your email. And then you can see I'm subscribed. And then this is where I came in from, email opt-in. And then this right here is when you created that account. And another good feature is if you do have a list of email subscribers already, you can always click import and then do a CSV file like that. So the way you got to look at this approach is you're kind of running your own mailing, you know, newsletter service, kind of like a MailChimp or MailerLite. 
you're kind of running a light version of that. So the good thing about this approach is you're not limited to you know how many email subscribers you can have or how many emails you can send out. That's only going to be limited to what you have, whatever your server or your hosting can provide you. So if you have Mailchimp and you just want to type of functionality like this, you could you know get rid of that service and then you could do this essentially for free now. So now I'm going to show you how you can use Elementor Pro to pull off this approach. So instead of using a short code, what you can do is I'll show you how this was built out. Very simple. Um, inside Elementor Pro, I just have the regular email form right here. And then you're going to notice underneath actions after submit, they have this new action right here called an opt in. And very simple. All you have to do is then map that uh, field right here. So it's called email to your email field. So if you had first name, last name or anything like that, you know, up here, you would just tie it in right here. But in this case, I just have email and that's it. So the good thing about this approach is you're not limited to this right here. You're not limited to how their system can design, you know, a layout. You're going to have a hundred percent flexibility. So I definitely recommend if you're using the Elementor, Elementor Pro, use this approach rather than the short code approach. Now we know the email form opt-in works correctly and you can confirm that the user is set up right here. The next thing we need to do is go underneath email campaigns. So this is going to be where you're going to automatically set up your email campaign. So when a new blog post gets posted, it's going to email the user. And in order to pull that off, you need to go underneath email campaigns and click this button right here. It says automated emails. I already have this one set up, but what you're going to want to do is click on new campaign. And then this right here where the button says new post notification, just click this button set up and then you're going to be redirected to a post like this. So I'll quickly go through, you know, how I have this set up. The first thing is you're going to notice that the edit campaign right here, this is the title. So this is going to be the blog post title name. So whatever you're going to be calling your blog post, that's going to be the subject of the email. Uh, you can change this if you want. You can say read our latest post and then, you know, the title. Let's do that actually. So read our latest post and then you can do something like that. And then this is going to dynamically pull in the post title. Then underneath email type, I recommend you keep this at standard. And then this right here is by default. This is how they have it set up. So it's going to pull in a featured image, your post excerpt. And then it's going to add a button right here. It says continue reading. And then what I did is I added in a little bit of CSS. Uh, you can see right here, I have it where the background color of that button is going to be like a dark gray with a font color of white. So you can add simple CSS right here and it's going to style up your emails a little bit better. And then this right here, it's going to give you a link. So post URL, this is all dynamic information. So it's saying if this doesn't work, if that link doesn't work, you can always just click on that link right here. Now I know this may be a lot right here, but this is really nice. They give you this button right here. It says view available tags. So when you click that, it's going to show you all of the different tags you can use inside your email. So if you have your first name or your last name, you know, they give you tons of different options right here and they have really good documentation. So you shouldn't get lost on what to do, but I like how they just keep it very simple. They're like, here's the blog post, click it. And if it doesn't work, you can always go directly to the URL. And then down here, you're going to have by default, they have this template. And what I recommend is called paste. And then what this is going to do is this footer text right here, you want to have an unsubscribe URL. So it's going to be unique to that user. So the user can always unsubscribe in the future if they don't want to keep receiving emails. Uh, like I said, that's really important to make sure you give the users the ability to opt out of these things. So pretty much this is all default. And then over here, you're going to want to make sure it says uh, send to Nopton subscribers. Uh, send immediately. So as soon as you post your blog, it's going to automatically send these emails. Uh, you can do a delay if you want. So if you want to do it, you know, send it the next day or a couple hours, whatever it may be. Um, but for testing purposes, let's do send immediately. Uh, some of this stuff, of course, is, you know, we're using the free version, so you're not going to have full functionality. So if you see something like this, that means you're going to have to pay for this ultimate add-ons pack. And one thing to note is, this type of functionality will only work on new blog posts. So if you have a custom post type or anything like that, you are going to have to sign up for you know their service right here. But I wanted to just show how easy it is with just the default WordPress post. You can automatically do this for free. 
And then you can just call this campaign new post notification, click active, and then hit save. So that's it. It's 100% ready. So now I'm going to show you a test on how it's going to look once we publish a new blog post. So now if I click on new post, you're going to see, I'm just going to call this a uh, test post. And then um, I'll just put today's date. This is 11, seven right here. So this would just be some test information right here. So the email is not going to be pulling in this information right here. It's going to be pulling in the post excerpt. So whatever information you put over here underneath your excerpt. So if I just put in uh, testing um, email and I'll just put today's date or something, you know, just something for testing purposes. And it does have a featured image, so you could pull in a featured image. So if I just go here, click something like this, that's it. We're gonna keep this very simple. Let's just publish that. And as soon as I hit publish, everything that we just set up is automatically going to be sending out to the two users I have right here. So let me go ahead and show you that these two users right here, if I go underneath email subscribers, are automatically going to receive that email. And then you can see right here, if you click on email campaigns, the one I just sent, it was called new post notification for test post 11.7. You can see right here, status sent. You can see how many people it's sent out to. And then what's also really nice is you can see how many people opened it, clicked it, or unsubscribed. So here's what the email is going to look like. So you can see right here, we have read our latest blog post right here. And then that was the name of the subject that we had Here's the title of the blog post. Here's our featured image. This was the uh, excerpt right here. And then this was the button that I styled up with the black background. So when you click that, it automatically would go to that blog post. And then down here in the footer, I just have wiki design. And then here's the unsubscribe link. So as you can see, when you click on any of these buttons, it's automatically going to go to that page where our new blog post is right here. So now you can see when I go back to email campaigns, I refresh this page and you can see that 50% of people, which was the two people, opened it up and clicked it. So you could see that works right there. And then if you unsubscribe, it will say, you know, unsubscribe right here. So that's it for this tutorial. Make sure that you give this video a like, subscribe to this YouTube channel, hit that bell to receive notifications when I release new tutorials like this. Again, this is Mark from Wiki Design.